on 19958.350CR, the heliophage was destroyed and Rendane was banished to Varelsi space, triggering a short period of peace and cooperation among the various factions, thanks in large part to the leadership and reputation of the Battleborn. Only a few months later, during an expedition on the part of the Battleborn to explore strange happenings in the heart of Echinar, Rendane was returned to our universe by the Varelsi. Weakened by aggressive Thrall explorers, Varelsi invaders, and an ancient Aztanti guardian, the Battleborn were unable to defeat Rendane before he escaped the planet. Sent back to our universe in order to make good on his agreement to steal Solus for the Varelsi in exchange for the continued existence of the Generate Imperium, Rendane initially attempted to wrest control of the Empire back from Deandi. Many Generate, upset with the reforms that Deandi was implementing and the lack of solid evidence of the continued existence of their Empress, rejoined Rendane, triggering a schism within the Generate Empire. Thanks to Deandi and the Battleborn's work reuniting the various factions, Rendane's loyalists were unable to take control of the solar system as they hoped, even with the help of the Varelsi, and had to flee to exile in dark space. It has been three months since the Generate Schism and the Exile of the Rebels. Each day, the United Factions expected Rendane to launch a new attack and each day has only created more questions. Deandi's spies have been unable to determine where Rendane has been, but the rogues have discovered that there's a lot going on in dark space. The new pact is decreed that Solus itself is a neutral territory and that any aggressive act on the part of any faction will be met with overwhelming force by the other four in order to ensure that as strong a front remains in order to defend against the inevitable assault by Rendane and the Varelsi. However, it is no longer merely the rogues that seek out the resources and riches that were once thought to be lost to dark space, and all of them consider it a race against not only each other, but against Rendane and the Varelsi for the future of their universe. The rogues, initially reluctant to share the wealth of dark space that once only they were able and willing to venture into, now sell their services to all of the remaining factions as the most expert explorers and navigators in Solus. Rumors still emerge, but are quickly quashed, that some even sell their services and spoils to Rendane as he wanders through dark space. The Eldred seek to reclaim from dark space which was once thought lost. The seeds of the Codex and the other lost Eldred treasures are lying there for the taking, and many planets still harbor strange and modified life in the centuries and millennia that they have not been watched. In addition, thanks to the influence of Melka and the Eldred Battleborn, the Eldred Council has shifted in their historic position. They will not simply sit by as the universe is destroyed by unnatural forces like the Generate and the Varelsi. The Eldred are now committed wholeheartedly to the fight to survive. The Generate Empire, on Deandi, is but a shadow of its former self. The initial flight of discontented Generate upon the defeat of Rendane and the further losses caused by his later return have cost Deandi and her government dearly, though they still hold on to the Exodus, the Sustainment Engine, and Tempest itself. Deandi and the other Generate Battleborn have taken control and now seek to right the wrongs that their empire once did. The Generate caste system has been abolished, slaves have been freed, and a new creed has been given. Live together or die alone. There are still mutterings of discontent from those who grew rich from the old social order that chose to remain loyal to the Empress, but those who the Generate Empire once ground into the dirt in order to build their great edifices finally have a chance at a bright future within the Empire though age-old prejudices and economic inequality still cause problems. All of the races in the Generate Empire see dark space as a chance to gain great honor and service to the Empire, as well as a chance to make up for all the harm they caused. Little has changed for the LLC. The success on the part of the Battleborn in saving Solus has shifted their desire for profit from the immediate short-term to slightly more long-term. The discovery of lost wealth and technology in dark space has caused a similar shift. Rather than trying to own as much of Solus as they can, they're now focused on owning as much of dark space as well. Some of the merchant guilds have funded their own excursions, while others are happy enough being paid to equip those they deem to be too risky to be profitable. All in all, it's still largely business as usual. Strangely, the Magna Carta is still remained silent, with many AI and interested parties trying to seek it out 
whether it fled to dark space or remains within the ARG fleet. For the UPR, the lack of resources and, more importantly, living space quickly overshadowed any short-term satisfaction derived from the defeat of Rendane. Unable to militarily colonize any of the planets or moons remaining within the solar system, the UPR now seek to ameliorate the problem of limited living space and growing population and finite resources for defense and expansion in dark space. The UPR was able to extract the technology that the Generate used to migrate Tempest to the solar system and are now building their own planet mover, with dark space exploration teams being sent out to find additional resources for the mover and suitable planets to bring to Solus once it is completed. The age of dark space exploration has officially begun.